some time before the Soviet Union collapsed, there was a time when Christians were being persecuted for holding their faith by the communist government. So it so happened that Christians were now going to church without their Bibles and they would worship in secret. So they would do this so that they wouldn't be spotted by KGB operatives. So it so happened that this other day, as Christians were gathered in this house during the night, the doors were locked, windows were closed, and they were singing their hymns at a very low volume. So it happened that as they were worshipping, in that very instance, the door burst wide open, and two men holding automatic rifles were standing by the door. And they said, ladies and gentlemen, may you all stand up, put your hands in the air, and stand against the walls. So as the ladies and gentlemen did that, one of the soldiers said, okay, ladies and gentlemen, those who want to recant their faith, go out. And those who say, we can't recant, stay inside and suffer the consequences. One by one, the saints started going out, one by one. Until the other men said to those who were remaining, gentlemen, move out or else suffer the consequences. Then after those who wanted to go out had gone out, and those who wanted to remain, remained. Then one soldier said, okay, ladies and gentlemen, he sarcastically said, okay, keep your hands in the air, but now keep them in praise. Last week we were sent to this other house to kill the saints we were worshipping. But when we got there, we took time to listen to what they were saying. And we got converted by what they said. So we were looking for another group of people who would preach the same sermons we had last week. Then the other one said, what we learned in the barracks was, if a person is not ready to die for what they believe in, then they can't be fully trusted. So we wanted to know that, can we trust you ladies and gentlemen, so that we can worship together without being reported to our superiors. So one famous writer says, a man who has no reason to die doesn't deserve to live. Can Jesus trust you with a gospel which has been entrusted to you? Can he trust you to die for it? Why? A man without principles cannot be fully trusted. The greatest one of the world is the one of men and women, men who stand for the right, men who can be trusted, men who are as true to duty as the needle is to the poor. Men who even in their houses, they can stand for their families, they won't sell their families for gain. Those are the kind of men and women who are wanted in our day and age. Can you be trusted in society? Can you be trusted in your family? Can you be trusted at school? Can you be trusted? Because a man without principle is a man who doesn't deserve to live. Why? A man who can't die for what they believe in is a man who cannot be fully trusted. 